Boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. lit. It's, it's a unique, unique hustle. hustle. Big, big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. Well gone, well gone, Madame. Hey, what's going on? Nothing, nothing. Say, man, look, man, hey, man, as you always know, man, the new hot stuff that come through the city, man, the dudes that really pretty much is, it, hey, man, you, we got to catch them early. Because mm -hmm. once they sign that deal, they might not come back. And we trying to make sure we catch the ones with traction, man. This little young dude right here, he been killing us, man. He been bringing it through. Been doing shows, too, in the city, man. Talk to him. Say, man, we in the D, man. Dallas, Texas, man. Hey, Three Money is here, man. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord. Three Money in the building. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, man. man. Hey, man, couldn't wait to talk to you, man. I'm a pleasure to be yeah, here. Yeah, 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 you, yeah, yeah. I, I, you, say, you say you ran into me some years ago. Yeah, I did, man. I did, bro. I was at work. And That's I ran right. I love the fact that you was at work, man. No, homie. And when I seen you... You know, I was like, I know this dude. When I seen the flyer, right, I right. knew it. I, knew, I was like, I, I know this dude. I kept saying that to myself. I didn't really tell nobody, but in my heart, I knew I knew this dude. Something about the face. He was like, yeah, I'm like, about, yeah. Like, but then I started saying, nah, this nigga here remind me of, uh, what's this nigga to be with Dolph? <laughs> what's that nigga name? And then Key Glock. Yeah, I said, this nigga, this nigga, might, maybe it's a Key Glock. <laughs> <laughs> nah, shout out to Key Glock. He hard. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> man. So, so, um. I hate to say tell us a little bit about yourself, but I'm gonna say it, man. Tell us a little bit about yourself, man. I mean, where, where do I really start with it? I mean, shit, uh, we can start, I mean, I do go by the name Three Money from Irvin, Texas. Okay, That's where, where, did get, from. where did that name come from? Three, well, it's really E-Money for it, but you know, legal purposes, I can't do E-Money for it. So it switched to Three Money, one of my partners and me was chopping something up, and then like, you know what I'm saying? I was like, dang, you know, the E-Money, we couldn't work, so. After E Money, I switched it to uh, E Money with a three. You know what I'm saying? So it was E Money with a three. Let that ride for a little bit. I tried to put my music on again. Once again, that name was took. So then after that, we just switched that second three to the first one. So it's really still E Money, but it's three money for legal purposes. That's kind of oh. where that came from. Oh, okay. For okay. sure. Three money in the building. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. So how, yeah. how old were you when you started? I mean, I've been rapping. Like the first time you came up and and did your first rap, I mean, like, did you write your first lyric? Oh, no, I remember when I was, like, by, like, shit, maybe six, seven, my big cousin, like, like, it was a funny story. Like, we was, my cousin from Louisiana or whatever, we was, uh, it was things like Christmas or something like that, and, like, all, like, the people went out and shit like that. I can cuss on here, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, baby, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I like, the uh, aunts and uncles and everybody left out. They came back, and then, like, all our cousins and stuff, we was, like, you know, when they come back, we're going to make, like, a little performance and whatnot. So my cousin, like he was like, wrote, he wrote down this little rhyme for me. I don't remember what he said, but he put he let me wear his jersey and shit like that. As soon as my mama came back, I pretty much performed that. And I remember the end, it was something like smell me. I don't know what I said, but I, <laughs> I just remember saying smell me to the crowd. So that's what it started for it. But I and say, how did the crowd react? Oh, it's family. You know, they're gonna, they gonna, they gonna turn me still. up. They're gonna turn me up. Of course, yeah, they gonna oh, turn okay. they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then uh I would definitely say the first actual song. It was like 2014 when I did this uh, freestyle over this Meek Mill beat. And uh, that's kind of where the first song came out about. And it, it did pretty good, you know what I'm saying? Got a little buzz around the city a little bit. More hate than love. It was like, who is this dude trying to rap? Cause, right. You know, a lot of people knew me already, but it was like, mm, who's this dude? So in between you doing that for your family and you, you did that beat, you told your mom that I wanted to be a rapper somewhere in between that. I How told did I that go? I told her I wanted to be an entertainer. Okay. I thought I wanted to be on movies and stuff, and she, I'd always be like trying to act and stuff like that. And every and what time, what did she say? She'd be like, hey, "Well, you can't act. You're not funny." And I'd be like, <laughs> but she just kind of joking around with it like that. So that's kind of where it kind of kept going a little bit. Because I'm also an only child too. You that's know, what so. I'm about to ask mm -hmm. you. You're the only one. You can tell. Yeah, so, I'm only okay. child. You can tell. You got I'm, this sense of uh, ty entitlement about. No, I'm just kidding. No, no. I, don't understand. I didn't got that before. I didn't got that before. They say only child syndrome. That ain't no real thing. No, but, no, 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 there no. is seen, for some people because I've seen some people who are only kids. And and yeah, yeah, your mama. What, what your is mama the is the main one you're talking about. No. But help me out. What is the only child syndrome? Because I don't get that. Like, explain it for me. 
okay, when you're an only child, you don't um, know how to interact with other people. You don't play well because you didn't have your kids. You didn't have any siblings to be. I play well with a lot. Like I had a lot of friends coming up, so that's false. So yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's you feel false. like you feel like it's but, a fake narrative. Mm, but fake narrative for sure. That's for you. But then I'm saying I've met some people who okay, are like okay. that. Who are very selfish. Your mama. No. <laughs> well, that's who the only child is that, that I always see. That you know of. I know people who are only Okay, give child. me a name. No, I'm not throwing Shout no out names to, uh, out. Yeah, we put, we're not shooting subliminal. I'm not, we go, I'm not we throwing names out. We keep saying names. I'm not, I'm not throwing put a names, names out. Put a name, name on it. I don't think I even know. Put a name on it. But I've met some people, even older, who say that they don't want any kids, they don't want, you know, they just want to travel the world, whatever, because they were only child. Right, right. And, you know, they just, they don't want to have to share anything. I can feel that. Like, um, a sense of, like, like possession, like, you know. You are a child? I mean, my brother was 10 years old. Oh, nigga, you, you, you the only child. You can tell where you sipping on that <laughs> hitting, that all that, that well, crime. Well with others. Other people just didn't play well with me. Yeah, mm -hmm. nigga. They, they nigga ain't want to play with you, nigga. You probably, you hood. Like you hood, like, Spoo. But that one I'm getting at, though. You like, hood, man. Nigga don't want to play with you. Nigga, you don't play right. <laughs> no, no. That ain't going to work. Go ahead, Three what Money. Let's saying? get back to it. But yeah, back to it, though. Yeah, anyways, though. Like, yeah, I'm my only child with that for But, like, that's kind of where, like, my mom was just kind of, like, you know, like. So she was supportive. She was very Was your supportive. father in your life? Yeah, he's big supportive. So uh, my mom and my dad had a good relationship. Okay, know? had? They still together? They, no, nah, they not together for it. They busted they, up. Yeah, but they, they still have good relationships. Very good relationships. Because, so you know, most parents are usually like, what you talking about? You want to be an entertainer. Go get a job. Right, What right. are you talking about? Oh, well, they was on that. They was, like, also, like, yeah, you can do the entertainment, but make sure you stay, stay in school, finish that. They was are always on that. So you so. finished school? No, nah, I'm still in school for it. I'm in college too as well. For what are now. you going for? Communications and then right now I kind of switched it up for like a, uh, I had in a, I had like a, a audio uh, entertainment for it then I switched it to communications for it. Just a little quicker way to do it. Okay. Are you still working yeah, other still, than that? Still working too. You got to keep it going always. So That's you right. find time to go to the studio, like rock, this guy. do all of that? Yes. And school, you write all your songs? Write all my songs. Do you write for other people? I can uh, more of a like I I do, but I don't like it's not no songs out, but I can. You know? So I got partners like I got songs for days. Like when my partners rapping, they do their stuff and they might add something, but they might help me out too with a quick little bar or something like that. You do know you make your own beats? Nah, that's the only thing I do. <laughs> I, I engineer my own self though. Okay. Oh, okay, I do engineer my own self, and anything I can't do, you know, I go to my I got a uh, Mujo Studios. They help me out with that. You know, anything that I can't get, you know, I got all that stuff for us. That's so. what's how up. do you know? I'm 25. I know I look I know baby face I look young a lot yeah, of people don't do. do that I'm 25 I know I know it's, it's good genes they say it's just good genes that's <laughs> what's up man so what um so growing up you know in Irving you know um you got any kids nah no kids okay that's no a good kids. thing I, you know you, you know you just never know yeah you never know and you checked everybody that you <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes nah. they come out the woodwork. Hey, nah, we don't nah, know nah. if they're gonna show. Look at him coming to America. He didn't yeah. know that he, he had a know. son. That mo hey, that movie was good too. Did y'all see coming to America? I, too? I liked it. Mm -hmm. I, people didn't like it. I, I, I liked. It. I liked it a lot. Mm -hmm. I liked. It. I mean, I'm not gonna I say it was good. I, I liked it. the first one. I'm still sticking with the first one. The second one was. It's a classic. They tried. You to, can't really just no, compare the two. No, no the, the the reason why I didn't like it, they tried to put too much comedy into it, and I don't look at that type of movie as a comedy. They was trying to appeal to like the masses now, like the. The kid generations and stuff like that. They was just trying to do that stuff. Like, they were doing too much. They even tried to did cast Did you like music. it? I liked it, though. I enjoyed it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it did. I, I enjoyed it school. at the very end. But and young kids love it. But that's the same thing. Like, if they made a new Friday, like, you know, R.P., like John Witherspoon. Yeah, and everyone, it ain't going to be the it same. It wouldn't be the same. No. Like, we would like it, but you know it can't be no, the same. No, it can't so, be the same. So it's kind of hard to yeah, do Yeah, because a few people had passed away, even his mother and all that. It, 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 yeah. It's a few people they couldn't bring back on the cast. So Then it was money issues. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Damn. you know, the thing I can say, man, is... When we gonna make our movie, nigga? We here in Texas. We need a. <laughs> hey, I told you, I want to be a anthem. We need a real acting. one, right? And so we, you we really want to do acting? Hell yeah, I want to be acting. That's what I would love to do. But of course, rapping is for show, for show. But I would love to be in a movie. That really? Be. Hell yeah! You want to see me in a movie? Yeah, you'll be going I, I, in. I hit a little quick cameo or something like that. Yeah. Then after a while, I can be on my Denzel. Okay. I can get okay. on my Denzel. Get did you do any acting in school? I did a couple Theater? shows actually, like um, nothing successful, but I did some good ones. It was one like uh, me and my partner Slim, like they had some like school thing going on, and they already was doing it. And it was like the next day was the uh, show, and then somebody got sick, and it was like y'all want to be in it, and we we did it, and they gave us some lines. We were supposed to go home and remember it. 
we ain't we ain't go home and remember it. So we tried <laughs> to remember the next day. And then we thought we did. And when we got on stage, like on our parts, I think we were some doctors. I had the first line. I came on and I I said some looked at him. We both start laughing and we just and everyone started laughing and we just start kind of butchering it a little bit. And then I was like, yep. Definitely, if I got to read my lines, if I'm going to do acting, I need to read the lines. I was about to say, that should have taught you, like, um, do I really want to be an actor? It taught me, like, to stay away from it for a minute. That's probably why I didn't pursue that. That's probably why I chilled out and probably did the music. I was like that. But, you know, after music videos, you start realizing, like, hmm, I wonder. I'm not saying I could be an actor, but I wonder. So so when you do your music, because you young, you, you've been performing for a little while now. Right, right. Do you feel like you have good stage presence? Oh, do you yeah, feel yeah. like you rock in the crowd? And you ain't just Great calc- one great side crowd, of the girl. stage right there? Yeah. No, you can go to my Instagram right now. You know what I'm saying? You rock the, out. Man, I'm rocking that bitch out. Like, if it's two, 200,000, same energy. Same, same way. Same energy. I'm jumping around. I'm... I'm standing on stuff, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting I'm talking to the crowd. Like I'm, I'm really getting lit. Dallas people to call in for you told me. He said, man, check That's him out. Boy. He said, man, go and check him out, man. And and I did. And he was like, man, yeah, yeah, I want to try to see if you're rocking on the show. I'm like, yeah, man, because he love hard. He love the city. He love the movement. Man. And and I've been rocking with him ever since he came on the show. Shout out to Dallas. Shout Pete. out to Dallas. So much you can say about that, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. How did you guys link up? Have y'all ever did anything together yet? All the time. I've been knowing Dallas P for shit my whole, since I was about fourth grade. Really? So did you y'all y'all done some songs together? Yeah, we got we could shit we could make albums together. Really? We That's hard. We already got them recorded, but really, we just kind of keeping it in the works. Like when I had my last show on Friday, I brought Dallas P out. We we performed two songs, like them things rocking. We actually got. Yo, I ain't even gonna say too much because it's under, you know. It's, what I'm it's still on the, in the works. It's in the works. And it's gonna come. I like the way y'all try to hide it and bring it out. <laughs> you know, you niggas slick. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna just bring it out. I, but I'll <laughs> let y'all in on it when it come. When it's a little bit close, I come back on the show and share with you niggas. How we hit them? Kind of like on one of those slingshots. We just pull it back. You kind of don't know and just let the thing. Yeah, go. man. Okay. The, the the thing I can say is, man, it, it's been a whole uh, it's been a whole movement for this show. Ever since, um, mm. you know, ever since we started, we've been having everybody been coming through, man. We appreciate you for coming through. You I know what I mean? You, for having De- me. Definitely love the way that you're carrying yourself, and I ask you to keep on pushing the way you're pushing, man. Appreciate that. Thank so you, let's get you. on this music a little bit. Yes, right sir. now, what out of all the songs, music videos, everything that you've done, which one you think is the top? I notch? told myself. I like that. Told myself. Shout <laughs> out my nigga Vision by D. I think uh, that, that ain't it. That ain't it. Ah. Right now, I just think <laughs> probation. I'm gonna say probation. Ah. See, I'm hitting him. It's probation because it, it's just yeah. like yeah, because that's real. It's some real shit, you know. What I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah. It's, it, it's of course it's a, it's a, oh, I'm an artist, so you yeah. have to understand it. But it's you know what I'm saying. That's why. So I that's like the it. reason why you like it. Yeah. Then not to mention my boy Pine. He did his shit for you know that my he first was just here last night. That's my boy. He man. was just shout out to Half Pine last yeah. night. He so came through. So is that through. your favorite video as well? Uh, it's one of them. I like Miss Rita too. Uh, Mujo and them shot that. I like that one because I was just like the way we just did that mm-hmm. one. That was just, you know it was a nice like setup. We and that was your idea. Yeah. The whole work. Well, I mean everything is pretty much my idea, and then. Uh, once I start hitting the big leaguers like you know like Pint and Visual by D, I kind of like tell them something and they take a pinch and I let them just do them because you know that that's what you get them for you know. Mm-hmm. But like as far as like if it's something like me like if like uh, I got a partner um, uh, who shoot my my video who used to shoot my videos from Hungry, and then with him it's like more of a brother thing so I can sit and we can talk and I'll be like I want this I want this I want this I want to do this so he has a lot of them videos too so I got another video I like. Uh, we shot this one like at a Walmart, like just it was like nine or ten o'clock. We was at a Walmart, then we was doing it. Then like a dude came at the very end and kind of like, like y'all can't be recording here. Then my homeboy like his SD card like it stopped, so we didn't get that part. It was like dang, that'd have been perfect. But wow, that was a good one too as well. So yeah, uh, I think that's you. Hey man, isn't it isn't it nice to have a, a wave to where you can look back through what you've accomplished? It is, it is. And, and God has blessed you to make it thus far, man. God like, man, right. a lot of people didn't never even get. A lot of niggas can't get their projects off the ground, man. And, and they can, they can. They just they just scared to just throw it out there. You yeah, just gotta throw it out. You gotta there. have a talent too. You throw something out there and it don't Facts. hit right. Nigga, throw it back at you. <laughs> <laughs> it hurt. It hurt. It hurt. Nigga will hurt your feelings. You can't be scared to fail, though. I, I done had some come through here. I, I look at them, and, and I could tell. You can just feel it? Yeah, you already no, know. No, like, it's going to be good, or 
it's going to be bad. You can just, you, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be good or it's going to be bad. <laughs> I don't know One where it's two. going, but it's going somewhere. No, no, no. I'm going to know, but I ain't going to I ain't gonna do them like that. But I'm going to give them a chance. You, you, know you got saying? a good way of reading people. I can tell how your energy is from when I met you now. And then when I met you back then, you you same dude, like ain't same, same, same dude. dude. Oh, where did y'all meet again? Wait a minute! Don't get all into my Kool Aid. Where, where did y'all meet again? <laughs> we was we was in the section. We was thugging. Yeah. You see, he not trying to give you up. <laughs> we was in the, we was the section. We was, we was at thugging. Papa Do's. <laughs> I don't even remember. I, nah. I promise you, I can't remember. I remember meeting him, but I don't remember who was with me. You know what I mean? Because, like, it was, hey, like it was I a said. Hispanic girl. It it probably, was, I guarantee you it was Heath. No, nah, for real. I think it was because I, I just started working at Papa Do's. It was maybe so. It had to be 2018, 2019. 2018, 2019. So you had to think where you was at around there. I'm thinking it was Heath. I guarantee it was Heath. Cause me and Heath it was two Hispanic girls. I know yeah, for it sure. was two Hispanic girls and, and two white by, boys. And him by himself? You can say it. Yeah, by itself. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't like, you know, I'm Look saying, how I don't, looking like I think I don't get in. No, I'm telling you, the two Hispanic girls showed up first, and Heath and his brother came. I guarantee that was when it was. Yeah, I just know you gave two me white a car. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and actually, I, I I believe we was trying to, no, it wasn't. It was, uh, the, it was Heath. I know it was Heath, and the boy's name was uh, Adam, his brother. Okay. So I remember that, though. I think I can find that. Hold on, cool. Let me see. I gave you my card that day, didn't I? Dang, yeah, no, nah, but I didn't. I didn't hit you on the gram, but I know I had it because I've been following. You. I was yeah, already following yeah, you. Stuff, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. It was yeah, something back yeah. there. I'm man. always on top of my business, man. I see, you man. worry about that part. I love it, man. <laughs> I'm a real live business nigga. I love it, man. Same, real man. talk, and everybody know that if they know me, ask Spook. Spook got my back. Yep. Am I a real business dude? He boy been riding with me for a long time, bro. And at the end of the day, if I met you, nigga, it was one hundred, nigga. Right. We had a good time. I laughing, facts. cutting up, big fat every time. Same yeah, man. yeah. I got my boy with me. He all probably <laughs> black boy with me. Spook usually gonna be with me. With somebody gonna be with you, hey, boy. No cap. Like for the most part, I'm always have someone with me too. I got a uh, couple partners. You know, they gotta handle their kid business. Yeah, That's but I like the way you came in here by yourself. Don Chief came in here yesterday, solo, dolo, you know, right. some real niggas, man, ain't coming right, ain't, ain't with that, ain't with all that. Yeah, straight you know, up. That just show you how real it is when you come through on your own by yourself, you know what I'm saying? Now, when you come by three, four niggas. Make it kind of be like, huh? And you trying to make it seem like you just really mobbing nigga, or <laughs> you just some big stomp down nigga like that. Um, I, it ain't all that. I feel that 100%. What you think? I've seen it, and yeah. <laughs> it just, when, whenever you see like a mob of that, does, does it give you like does it give the artist like a pl a presence of like they can't really they not that confident or does it make it seem like they trying too hard? Yeah, some of them hit fame too fast. Mm -hmm. You hear that fame too fast? Yeah, I know exactly what you say. You can't be famous before you get famous. <laughs> but it's a funny thing. Like <laughs> I remember, Steve and got famous <laughs> too fast, man. I remember going to Vegas to the clothing shows. And you'll have people come through and they'll right. come through with a whole bunch of people and you'll have a cameraman and somebody in front of them filming, mm -hmm. somebody behind them that filming. That was us. I'm talking before we did <laughs> that. That was us, nigga. We did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah that's how we mobbed through, nigga. I got my old lady with me. I got about eight <laughs> models with me. Yeah, shout out to the nigga that be shutting them down in, in Vegas, man. That was us. No, but even before that, we used to see people. <laughs> that was us, nigga. Okay, when it's not you. Okay, okay. Y'all you, you. You know y'all doing you know, it. When you, niggas, when you know someone not doing it. <laughs> Danny was with us, yeah. But one thing, we mobbed. One thing, when you go to certain places and you do that, people always be like, who is that? Like, because you have so many people with Thanks. you and you have the videos going, everybody's like, and some people might be like, oh, that's a celebrity. Mm -hmm. Who celebrity is that? I would think that. I mean, if I'm sitting in the club just chilling, I just see lights and a whole bunch of shit, I'd be like, who the, you know what I'm saying? I probably who would just, look twice. Yeah, yeah, like, who just but came I in? I get what you're saying. You got to back it up with it. You know what I'm saying? That goes back to what you're saying yeah. with the talent. So, like, if yeah. you one of the dudes that don't really, you know what I'm saying, don't really got the talent with it with that, it look good, but it don't go nowhere. Right. I understand what you're saying. You know, mine, I, I just feel like it was time, you know. And, I, you know, when we done it, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it wasn't, really, I wasn't a rapper or nothing. That's why I did it. I said, you know what, I'm going to come through on the Because oh, yeah. I'm going to tell you what I was doing. Mine was more captivating the visuals, always having something to show for a documentary or something like that. And bringing light movie. to the brand. And bringing light to the brand. It had nothing to do with nobody else. Then nigga run up on me, man. Now who, who is you? I say, hey, man, bro, just just chill, man. Step back. Right, right. You know what I'm talking about. Just enjoy the ride, baby. 
I can feel well, that. Who is, who, man, every, and they'll tell you too. Every time we see you, you got a gang with you. <laughs> They're looking yeah. for it. Like, yeah. like where your people at? Where your people at? Whenever we came we without anybody, where your mm-hmm. people at? Where your people at? <laughs> That's facts. I had a cousin just tell me that. He was just saying, he was like, hey, look, you know what I'm saying? It's good when you go out and do your thing, but you want to make sure everyone is on the same thing with you because the day that you go out by yourself, that's whenever, you know, yeah. stuff can get weird. So I get that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Watch it, yeah. But I really, when, when when we was by ourselves, I think I just want an isolated time to spend time together. I really right. like them want, you know what I'm saying? But usually when we mobbed through there, like when we had all the people with us, we were just doing our thing. And I think that's, that's important. You really need to be captivating. You need cameras with you. Mm-hmm. 100%. Because you need content. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the whole thing about it. When you see the cameras here, you got to have content to be in anything that you're doing, whether it be in business, whether it be in entertainment. No matter what you do, you want to be able to put those visuals up on Instagram, uh, TikTok, Facebook, uh, Likey, any of those platforms so you'll have something to offer people so they can see what you're doing. You're mm-hmm. a brand. Mm-hmm. So you shouldn't be walking around here all day, every day by yourself talking about you're an artist. You're a failing. Right. You are really failing if you don't have a cameraman at least with you. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm being real. I'm and giving no, you some jewels now. Got, when I was well, I'm going in now. I got, I got a photographer now. I got a whole one. I got one But now. he po- That's what, like, yeah, like even doing this today, mm-hmm. there a lot of the guys coming in with somebody with doing a black. Right. You got to have that because they're going, right. they're going, that's good, this good, it's good footage. Yeah. Whether you're going live to show what you're doing. Yeah. It's something, even if not for the whole so, thing, but for part. Yeah. So let me tell y'all this then. Okay, so whenever y'all going out and y'all got the cameras and stuff that y'all editing everything, like, is y'all, y'all got a team going around for it? Y'all paying everybody? How y'all, how y'all doing looking everything looking at the for? team right now, buddy. That's what I want to see. That's what mm. I'm talking about right there I, for. I'm the team. It's behind the scenes. What for I'm us saying, like, I don't it. trust nobody. That's with what, my footage that's what I'm so I like to this. edit my own stuff I, I I do I learn to edit my own on my own time uh, I do have so like you, have you see have I have Big Rob to here today shout out to scene. Big Rob Big Rob is on the on, you on can't the wheels be your of steel own behind the scenes you can't yeah. you can't and you can't tell yourself something look bad if you made it you know what I'm saying like yeah. you, you can't you, you ain't gonna say oh this is bad product you might think everything you do is good you need someone that's gonna be on that you, like you the guy that I have filming for me I really don't expect a lot out out of him because mm-hmm. I'm gonna edit it make it look right put it out you seen the show when I you see it how I look into you mm-hmm. you see what I'm saying so that's what we own like. I don't really, I don't look for my, now I would like to have that, even when I do get that, because I do have a couple of guys that I'm letting do some things, Mm -hmm. but I'm still going to have my hands around it to make it to what I want it to be on my side. Anything extra is going to be extra footage that they just put Mm -hmm. out. Now that, if I was rapping, it'd be the same thing. I'd want to deal with my own stuff because I want to put it out the way I want to put it out. I want to make, you. well, you can't do everything. Well, you can do a little more than what you're doing. Yeah, thanks. Be you, you you could do more. You you want to know your craft. You you learn everything so you can do everything. Mm-hmm. Now, you do want to be able to delegate too. You got to do both. What you think? You're correct. You're 100% right. You got to do right. both. Mm-hmm. If you want something bad enough, you'll do whatever it takes. I feel that 100%. You're, <laughs> you'll do whatever it takes. You're like, I want to do that. Nigga, do it. And find different ways of doing it and not try to be the same as everybody else. Right, but right. But be unique in your own way. Mm-hmm. See, that's why I love what y'all doing with y'all stuff because, like, how y'all got y'all stuff, the unique hustle, the boss talk, y'all getting it every avenue. Y'all hitting yeah, it every yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like you really can't miss. You know yeah, what I'm saying? We, we have to, we I believe we have to um at some point, we've been doing this so long. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody hit their sweet spot. I think this podcast has been a sweet spot for me. Mm-hmm. And it just started. Like we stopped for like a year. I had the equipment, didn't even do nothing when COVID was going on. He know that. Yeah, COVID we was just a bad yeah, break. but we it, it really, really it was a time I enjoyed because I was able to sit back and reflect on some certain things. But the thing I can tell you is now that when January hit, I was like, okay, we could go get these boys. Say and, and, and I knew, I knew that that's what we was going to head with it. Now let's talk about probation. Since you, we talked about that earlier, we're going to talk about the music now. Mm-hmm. Probation. What, what, uh, was you on probation? So I, I, yeah, I was on probation, man. When I made that song, it was probation during Corona. Okay, you know which is saying? a good time to be on probation. Good time, you know what I'm saying? What were you on probation so. for? <laughs> no, nah, I wasn't on probation like that. You know oh, you're talking saying? about because yeah. of Corona. corona okay, yeah. just want to make sure. Nah, I'm playing. Nah, so like it, it's like the way it is is like probation is a song that I really made for it. It's like I don't want to talk too much about that situation. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you know what I'm saying with it. Yeah, but like it, it was when we, I'm, we when Corona started. 
that's when I, this album dropped. I made all this music, you know, during that whole lockdown. Cause I think it was March last year. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was working at my place. And then uh, when that shit happened, it just cut. Like we gone, you know what I'm saying? They were just like, hey, you know, I don't know what to do. So I'm at the crib, you know what I'm saying? Like day one, day two, day three, day four. And after a while, I'm like, you know, I ain't think like this music shit, I gotta do something. I'm sitting on myself, you know, I'm dealing with this situation, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm not making no money now. So I'm like, you know, what you doing? You gotta find some. So that's when I was like, you know, pull up some shit, hit one of my partners up, like, you know, the niggas who make my beats. Pulled up the beat, and then I kinda like, you know, uh, mm. then the probation shit, that just kinda wrote itself. It's one of them songs, like, you kinda, as an artist, like, sometimes you'll have a song that kinda just writes itself. Like, as you, cause I really don't write my music. I do write my music, but not really. You know, I kinda get on. Punch I'm in. Just punch in, I'm punching in. If you know me, you, you know, and I'm engineering myself too, so I'm, uh, uh. So I'm gone, and then probation is just like fluently just hitting every mark that I'm kind of like going through. I'm like, okay, uh, uh. So after that, that's kind of where that kind of get. So once I make that one, I kind of, you know, like I work every day. I make a song. I'm making songs every day. So I'm kind of going through, and I'm thinking about myself. I'm like sitting on all this product. I'm like, boy, you got a, you got one. So I start feeling out, you know what I'm saying, moving. Talking to a couple partners, you know, like, I always, like, get a couple ears. What you think? DP, one of them, you know what I'm saying? Boom, what you think? Get my own stuff, drop it. And then as I'm kind of going through the list, you know, probation is just like I say, that one that sticked out. So I'm like, you know, I'm going to put this on the front. This going to be the intro right here. Boom. Wow. So that's kind of where, like. That's good stuff. Yeah. What about I told myself? Told myself. Is that the latest one? one? That's the latest one. That, okay. Uh, yeah, with Visual by D. That's my boy. Mm -hmm. We just shot that. So I told myself it's like one of them songs, like, like I say, I'm my only child. So my mom, you know, big influence on my life. You know what I'm saying? So every time, like, I do stuff, I'm talking to my mama. She's telling her, you know, she, boy, I told you, you know, boy, you, you know, I, you already know this. So it's things that I've been knowing, been telling myself. So do you think that, you know, with that song right there, because uh, I told myself, you know, and it's got a good rhythm to it. Yes, sir. How do you, how do you feel about just, uh, uh, um, do you feel like that song is one that that do you stream you streaming on Apple and all that? Right, yeah, I'm everywhere. How I'll do you platforms. how do you feel how do you feel it's gonna do? Oh, I think it's gonna do great. And it, is it, and it, how are you marketing the whole the whole movement? So, I know this is a press run. Yeah, it's right a press here. run for us. So actually, what I'm doing for my whole marketing thing, you know, we're doing press runs, we're doing shows. Uh, right now, we just dropped the cash album for it. I got a couple videos in the lineup for it. It's, I can't really say too much because it's gonna come, but. The press runs, they gonna really. It, it's more like it, this is what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? This is how I'm doing. Well, I got I got a couple more uh, platforms that I can kind of shoot your way. So yeah, you going yeah, because you, you. you know I'm independent. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I, got you. I, got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. My boy. You know that's the whole way it go down. Bless. You know everybody that out here with these platforms should be trying to figure out ways to look out for mm -hmm. the independent artists that's out here trying to you know do their and you see them doing they they just do putting the music out and and they're consistent and they're doing the visuals and they're doing what it takes show them some love right. boss talk one-on-one do hmm. yeah yeah Thanks. show them some love talk to them yeah because mm -hmm. there's it, it a lot of niggas that need this this yeah. therapy nigga. Hmm. You know, this is therapy, nigga. Hey, you, you can know? preach it, you can't sell it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, the thing I can say about you is, man, like I said, for for even even for Dallas P, it's just organic the way it happened, you know. And then you saying you already had ran into me that that make it makes sense it that it happened because everything that happens happens for a reason, right? And my mm -hmm. cousin tell me that all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got any more questions for? I'd like to know your top three artists of all times, dead or alive. Dead, dead or alive. Dead or alive. Top Any genre. Three. Okay. Number one, three money. That <laughs> my nigga go, boy. Ooh. Number two, I got to say Lil Wayne. That's, Lil that's, Wayne. that's why I started. Now, my third one, I, can I give like a 50 50? No. No. Damn. No. You said I said. You're going to make me I need pick three. Out of these two. Okay. You know, okay, let me be real with myself. So Wayne, then we're going to say Cole, J. Cole. J. Cole, I got that before. And Lil Wayne, that's one of the frequencies. Lil Wayne, Cole, then I'm going to, uh, dang, it's hard all time. Gotta, I got to say Kendrick. 
Kendrick. Gotta put Kendrick okay. in there. I got to. Okay. Well, you got Lil Wayne in there. You from the South. So I'm from I'm, the South. I don't want you to get caught up too much <laughs> in all that mess. You know? I mean, I listen to a <laughs> lot of young boy, though. Yeah, a lot a of lot, Kevin yeah, Gates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's in your ear? You know what I'm saying? What's really in your ear? What's in your deck? What's on your playlist? Mm, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, that's your favorite. That's your top three, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Don't play, nigga. That's your top three. You know, the one on the <laughs> okay, playlist, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, your yeah. top three. But don't you know get it wrong. I listen to everything. It's crazy. I'm talking about, like, you can you name it. I probably listen to it. Really? Like, I'm like I don't really not music. Yes, yeah, Sade. Yeah, the taboo. Yeah, everything. Okay, for, I'm for the same. Do apple you. tree. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah? like every, my mom put me on. Like you, listen, you, you listen to asshole and go. Okay, now you didn't. You didn't <laughs> me out. I don't know what that one is. I don't. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Yeah, that's my boy. He, he, yeah. he an artist out of Houston. Show yeah. me. You're going to have to show I'm me I'm going to let you listen no to cap. him. He, he fly, man. Shout yeah. out to that boy, man, A-I-N-G. Mm. Fame game. But yeah. Let me ask you, what about you? Who your top three? Oh, man, I don't really want to just give you my top three. I'll give you my number one, and that's okay. Pimp C, nothing else. Mm. Mm. Yeah, UGK, nothing mm. else. Don't even ask so, me. Okay. Nothing else even matter. You just said it right there. That, that, that yeah, it's straight broke Texas, down everything. man. It's a Texas thing for me. I don't, uh, you know, we wouldn't be here without the late great. Mm. No, PMC. PMC, yeah, no, fast. Yeah, PMC yeah, yeah, all, yeah. he made his own beats. He just sung his own hooks, and he ripped his own verses. Mm. Ain't no niggas really did that. These niggas can talk about it, but they didn't do it. <laughs> they didn't do it. They were just, they either, were, they didn't, oh, I did this part, but I didn't do that yeah. part. He yeah, did, yeah, did. that nigga, that nigga was hardcore with that pen, and at a time when nobody wasn't coming out of these areas. It was just him. So I got to give it up to it. And then pimp. I asked one nigga, he's, I said, man, on that big pimp, they always they love Jay-Z up there in New York. <laughs> yeah. He texts his niggas, man. I said, man, who had the best best verse on that big pimp? Oh, man, Jay, man. Oh, no, Bun, man. I said, how could you even debate it when my nigga pimp, she said, now what you know about them Texas boys? That nigga. How could you, how could you even debate that when he say yeah, this right here? And he put it in there, where you, and you from Texas and you can't figure it out, nigga, you throwed. I can't, I'm just, I'm being a realist from, from me, because nah, it's your point of view. It's your big topic. pimping, man, I remember, I think, uh, I had 2000, what, 2001, I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I was, First grade, so I did that smoke it, I pull it up. Hey, it, hey, you know what I'm talking about? Like, that shit is in my that. heart. You know what I'm talking about? Like, man, you no see, now you see that? I know Cal, bro. In his heart. That shit like but that. But it wasn't his you top three. You hear what I just said? In his heart. I was but young. But it wasn't was his young. top three. Don't matter. It's in his heart. It's in my heart, though. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you the reason why. I love the fact that the young boy are going to do their thing. I don't expect them to be... I'm, you know, these guys, are, that was my my time, you know. It's a certain time period that everybody goes through. He's got, you got people coming under him, but like my son and my right. daughter, that's not in his time. Right. So, you know, everybody got their phase and they should be proud of their phase of what they feel that they're 100%. Their be best artists. 100%. I mean, you know, shoot, some people, you know, some people going to get on here and say Master P. Yeah, yeah. You know, so just slam nobody, just depending on what it <laughs> so is. Just, that's fast. You know, some niggas go, hey, the P, what you say, Spook, that's what you might. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like, I'm from the boot, so don't get me wrong, P, I love P, Wait too. a minute, wait a minute, I didn't even know, I thought you, you from what part of the boot? My people from the boot. Oh, I'm from Shreve, okay, yeah, Shreveport, I told you I'm from yeah. Urban, but I'm from the Shreveport. boot, I'm from the boot. Cooper now, Road. I don't want to hear none of that East Texas talk. We for street poets, Louisiana. Yeah, y'all yeah, Louisiana, yeah. but I'm East Texas. Don't get it twisted. You know, we exactly. got yourself in an argument now. No, no, I'm East saying, Texas is, we is say, East Texas. We don't want y'all. Y'all, we don't want y'all. Hold on, hold on. We don't want y'all. Hold on, hold on. We ain't never hold wanted y'all do like that. that. Now, don't do it now. Don't Tyler Texas that. No, I'm just say, nah, look, that. Wait, we didn't want y'all like that. We cool with y'all. But uh, yeah, I used to go. Shout out to my nigga Dre down there on Cooper Road and all them boys down there. I'm hearing, man. You know what I'm talking about? Like, no, if you from East Texas, you go on the street, boy. Now you, you go. Yeah. See all that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yancey Quarter, all that, yes, everything. Yes, yeah, you, you going down there? You gonna go to the bottoms? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gonna you go gonna, to the casinos? You gonna go to yeah, the boardwalk? Yeah, 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 yeah. All that, and that's the, you know, it, I'm from down there, yeah. but I'm from the Texas side. 100%. I'm from the Caddo Lake. Mm -hmm. Oh, you from See? Caddo? Okay. Yeah, yeah, Caddo Lake on the Texas. I'm right there by Louisiana. I'm closest to Louisiana. I'm six miles out of Louisiana. Mm. Oh, so you used to play so you playground over there. I used to go to street put that back way down LA one, come up that back side. I was right there. <laughs> I, I did. You know what I'm saying? But I'm a Texas boy, you know, but at the end of the day, all them people, my people down there, I had mm -hmm. my shout out to my nigga Peanut and Popcorn back in the day, y'all know me. Shout you out know what I'm <laughs> 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 They were brothers too. I I don't know if they both still live, man. You know, niggas die young, man. Someone probably gonna see this. Listen to me, man. Niggas die young, bro. We ha we blessed to be here, man. R.I.P. My nigga Malcolm, for real. See what I'm saying? Niggas start saying R.I.P. and it'll be a whole segment. Mm. You can do a whole R.I.P. segment. Mm. 
Because so many fallen soldiers is out there, bro. It's tough, man. So that ought to wake some of these young folks up and some of these old. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Figure it out. Yeah. So what if you was, okay, three money, if, 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 if three money today right. could, say, could speak to the three money of yesterday. When he wasn't, wasn't three money, he was about 15. Right. You know, I ask that question all the time. What would you say to yourself? Mm. On, on suggesting how to deal with, you know, going into who you are now. Uh, I would definitely say don't be scared to take that risk and do not be scared of your talent, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would look back at myself and be like, boy, all these people, like, you know how we catching something right now, how it's building, buzzing, and next thing you know, you're the next breakfast club. Yeah, It's yeah. a lot of, lot of mistakes that I missed in the past that, like, I could have done it, and then I, I was scared to take that risk. Mm -hmm. I tell myself I was scared to take that risk, but now... I'm biting everything, you know what I'm saying? If it's coming, I'm, yeah, let me, yeah, I need, um. Yeah. So I would definitely tell myself, but take risks on yourself. More that's risk. good, that's good stuff there. That's good, you know, like, like that's, that's, that's a problem because so many people walk in fear. Mm -hmm. They're scared they're going to fail and it's a false belief. So that's, that, that's something you got to kick early. Yeah, you only fail when you fail, when, when you fail. Yeah, yeah, when you stop trying. Exactly. You see, and, and a lot of people don't know that because a lot of times they're insecure or, 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 you know, because their parents are, didn't deal with it. Now they're trying to deal with something that they, nobody in the family done done. Mm -hmm. And it's like everybody around you saying you can't. Mm -hmm. But in your heart you're saying you can. And that's, that's the difference maker. You got to take that risk. Procrastination sure. stops so many people from doing what yeah, they really I agree, need to do. I agree. My dad told me that when I was little, he said, I think I was four five, and he said, "Last minute motherfuckers don't get shit." That's, That's what he exactly said. What he said that because I remember we was supposed to get some shoes, and then like some happened, and then it was late. It was late, and I and had you this just nigga walking. Him saying that. I remember I walking to all these stores trying to get these forces or something. And he was pissed. My dad don't do that shit. He was like, "That's what I told you, Aries. Look, if you don't remember shit, remember this: last minute motherfuckers don't get shit." Wow. He wanted and you, you remember And I remembered that. <laughs> Shout out to my daddy for real. <laughs> yeah, I love that nigga. yeah, that nigga don't want you to be late, nigga. Be on time. You was here earlier today, nigga. Hey, man, my mama That's what I'm talking about, man. You on top of your business, man. I've been having some stumped down real niggas come through here. Young niggas ready to go to work. <laughs> ready to interview, ready to rap, whatever you want to do. You want to do a video do. right after, nigga? We can do that, too. Yes, sir. And that's what I'm yes, talking sir. about. Them the ones going to make it, too. Always remember that. Stay focused, man. Yes, sir. Yes, That's sir. The, if I ain't told you nothing else, don't let nobody tell you you can't. And stay consistent. Yes, sir. Stay consistent. That's so important. So many people don't stay consistent. You look on that wall, that wall is a wall of consistency. I was looking at that earlier. You hear me? That's consistency. Yes, sir. That's what you're seeing. Like every six months, it's every every time you look around, that's money. I'm throwing money at going here and going there to make sure I'm at every event where we're dealing with different functions when it comes to the clothes or when it comes down to anybody that we support. And that's what it is, consistency. Facts. Yeah, yeah. That's that. real talk, man. So, um, Bay, you got anything else? Mm -hmm, no, sir. Three Money, we appreciate you for coming on Boss oh, Lord, Talk man, 101, say. man. Is there anything? Tell people how they can get a hold of you. Oh, man, you can follow me at everywhere, at the real Three Money underscore. Twitter, Instagram, it's everywhere. Also, you know what I'm saying, we're pushing that cash album. We got a lot of stuff coming right now. Deluxe album is dropping soon. Yes, sir. Say, man, that's been another great, great interview with Boss Talk 101. It's a unique hustle. Yes, sir. And we out.